He is heating up the competition on season 14 of Food Network Star, and today he's here in our kitchen, heating it up in here as well, making one of his seasonal favorites, seared scallops over sweet corn succotash. Please welcome Harrison Bader. Thank you, thank you. We're all in the, in the break doing that suffering succotash. Yes, yeah. Remember yeah. that? Right. I mean, you, just, you have to say it that way when you're talking about succotash. <laughs> mm -hmm. So you grew up in New York. I did. And you learned to cook in your dad's deli. I did, yeah. Tell me about that. You know what, since I was a little kid, I just remember being around stoves and pots and pans and food, and it just kind of was instilled in me at, as a baby. Aww. Yeah, oh uh, yeah. He would come to school and like cook for the holidays. And like so. his phone. Yeah, remember those, like his <laughs> nuts out cooking phone? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. amazing. What was the first thing you remember learning how to cook? Oh man, probably like eggs. I would just yeah. always do yeah. scrambled eggs and throw whatever I wanted in it and think I made like a five-star meal. So it always started with eggs, yeah. Oh, no, that's true. But listen, eggs are not easy to make. Good eggs right. are not easy that's to fair. make. That's fair, yeah. That's true. All right, neither is good scallops. Because scallops can go from delicious to eraser in about 30 <laughs> Very seconds. Quick. Very quick, So yeah. what's the key to cooking the perfect scallop? So to make the perfect scallop, first of all, you want to remove the muscle. This muscle is attached to the shell, yeah, which is how that. it kind of stays in. So it's super simple. You just literally just pull, pull it, it off. off. Boom, boom, you okay. know? And what you also want to do is you want to pat your scallops dry. All right. And that's going to ensure that you get really good caramelization and it's going to create that crust because scallops have sugar. Okay. And that's what causes that. So you don't want them wet because it'll don't be want mushy. Them wet. Mm. So we season them up with some salt and pepper. Okay. Just like that. When you, yeah. when you buy them, is, is there like a way, is it like standard fish? Like you don't want them to smell fishy? You exactly. Smell that same when it comes rule? to seafood, you never want your seafood to smell fishy. You want to smell the ocean. Right. And that's how you know it's fresh. Mm. Okay. So in a nice hot pan, I have some butter that's melted. A butter? Mm. Butter. Mm. Nice, mm. I like you. I knew we were going to be friends. You yeah. got some, right? I like what the butter. you don't take the muscle off? I was just going to say, because I've never done I've that never before. Heard yeah, that. It's, it's just, just a little is it just tougher. Tough it's just muscly. It's just tough. You're going to bite into it, you're not going to be able to eat it. Yeah. So yeah. it's just it's, unappetizing. You're buying okay. scallops that your fishmonger has likely pulled off. Oh, okay. Right. Oh. That makes sense. But if you are if you own a restaurant or you're a chef, you're getting them like this probably, and you do it yourself. Got it. Yeah. Okay, All right, so, so how you, long do we have them there before they turn into racers? Yeah. You get them in a hot pan. <laughs> Honestly, depending on your stovetop, it's going to be a minute and a half to two minutes. That's it? That's so quick. Oh, my god. That's why I really like this dish, because you can make this ahead of time at barbecues. Make mm. the succotash, make the salad, and sear scallops in front of your friends, and you look really cool. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's it. It's so easy. All right, let's talk about your succotash, because you yes. have a very clever way of cooking your corn before you even get in the succotash. I do, Tell so I like to do some kitchen hacks to make everybody feel a little more comfortable in the kitchen. Because corn can be daunting. Yeah, it takes a long time. Yes, not in this case. So I take the corn, husk and all, I throw it in the microwave for like five minutes. It steams within the husk, oh. and then you just rip it apart and it's fully cooked. Are you, you have to like serious? soak the really? husk like you do for grill? Literally from the store into your microwave. With the husk? Oh. Yes. Wow. Whoa, five, five minutes in the microwave That's it, five husk. minutes. Oh my right? gosh, right. I can't imagine. It's a game changer. And the husk doesn't catch yeah. on fire? Yeah, nope. it doesn't explode or... Wow. <laughs> Look at that. See, that's what you're looking that's for. Perfect. Is that beautiful caramelization. Look at that. Wow. It's so then, beautiful. Meanwhile, we'll let this cook for another minute and a half yeah. on each side, right? Yes, yes. Okay, so we started with the succotash. So yep. you put your corn... Well, you, first you start your mushrooms going, correct? Yeah. So once the corn is cooked, you, okay. you just cut it off from the cob. So I got the fresh corn. Okay. I'm going to throw that in the pan with the mushrooms. I have oyster, cremini, and shiitake. Mm. Honestly, you could do whatever mushrooms so you want. I just like I the like three the of those. Mix. Yeah. That's good. It adds a nice crunch, earthiness, that umami flavor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So to that, I also added roasted red pepper. Nice. I'm going to do a little salt. Okay. A little pepper, because you want to season every layer. That's it? Yep. And, and then how a long do you little let that, bit of time. How long do you let that come together? You cook this for, honestly, everything's cooked. Four minutes. Wow. And that's olive oil in there as well? I do a lot olive oil and, again, a little bit of butter. And butter, okay. Listen, it's summertime. We work hard for our summer bodies. You, gotta <laughs> right? you have to. Exactly. It'll you push you back to. an entire month because you're eating a stick of butter. But <laughs> <laughs> that's it. <laughs> so, but most succotash is true. Most succotash has beans in it. Yeah. Dead. No, it's sure. not. No beans. <laughs> I like this. It's a no bean succotash. No bean succotash. Well, this is the beauty of cooking and of when you're starting feeling confident in the kitchen. You could take recipes that you already know or dishes that are quintessential that we all know, and you could put your spin on it. Mm -hmm. And right. in this case, it's summer, so I wanted to do corn, roasted red pepper, and the mushrooms. It's just. I love it's mushrooms. Yeah, mushrooms. Mushrooms like mushrooms. So good. And all that butter is counteracted by your beautiful salad that you're going to serve exactly. this on top of. That grapefruit. Because this, uh, this grapefruit. dressing is so interesting and unique. You, yeah. Instead of using a lemon vinaigrette, it's a, a grapefruit. Grapefruit, grapefruit vinaigrette. Grapefruit. 
Yeah, I'm a big fan of grapefruit. Mm -hmm. I think it's really, you know, it's not getting enough love that it needs to get. It you needs know? Kale's publicist. Exactly. Yeah. It really does. Yes, we gotta make yeah. that phone call. Yeah. So yeah, it's just honestly half a grapefruit, olive oil, honey, salt, and pepper. That could wow. be a marinade, it could be a dressing. You could base chicken with it. So it's so versatile and it stays in your fridge for months. And you remember the grapefruit diet, so essentially you're losing <laughs> weight. <laughs> right, from the so every, everything doing. counteracts. It speeds up your metabolism. Right. Mm. Okay, so we have, is that just arugula? Arugula that is tossed with the vinaigrette. Okay. Okay, and then I have some grapefruit segments and some pistachios. Pistachios, yeah, okay, yes. love it. So to plate this. Okay, we'll plate them both. We're gonna do some of your so your corn succotash oh, on top. Oh, so good. And you could just eat the succotash just like that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, I would throw Beautiful. a fried egg on top of this. I was thinking that. Well, well that, right? back, right? back, 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 back to the yeah. I love oh, an egg. I, I, listen, <laughs> I love I'm eggs. I'm a family of all veggies, so. Oh, yeah. yeah. The mushroom adds like the Yeah, exactly. To sure. So that's all that's plated, then you just add your scallops. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Can you beautiful. undercook them or no? It's like. Scallops? Yeah. I like my scallops medium rare. So if better you will. to under than overcook. Yes, and that's sure. with, you know, I say that with a lot of things because you could always throw it back on the grill, whereas right. if you overcook it, it's over. Yeah. Yeah, people eat scallops raw. Yeah. Yeah, I like yeah, scallops of each other. Delicious. Yeah. So okay. I add the crispy garlic just because I love garlic. Oh, yeah. And then um if Did you I get a crispy garlic or just yeah, yeah. garlic? Oh, oh, it fell off. Oh, wait a minute. I'm, I'm giving you that garlic love. Okay, thank and you. And then again, just to you know, make it super pretty. Some more pistachios. Mm. So good. Is your dad so proud? My Aww. dad calls me every day. He called me today driving Aww. here. Just like I could hear my crying yeah. on the phone. Just he's so happy because you learned to cook in his deli, and look at you. Now. I know, I know. It's That's really, so it's a beautiful full circle moment, and yeah. to share that with my dad is is so special. Aww. So yeah, I love you, dad. <laughs>